we're still having to add a lot of fuel. It gets consumed really quickly. But now that the system is up to temperature, um, it is working much better. So there's a lot of mass that we had to heat up first. But now that we're there, the heats are coming a little bit quicker every time. Let's see what it looks like. I think for a, for like a rocket purpose, having a, lots of holes would be good because we do want lots of airflow and we're moving through a, a pretty broad surface, whether it's yeah. a six inch rocket or an eight inch rocket. Um, but for a forge, we'd like our heat to be much more condensed than that. Because if our entire floor of our forge was full of holes, then our hot spot would be this entire area. Yes. And it would take a ton of fuel in order yes. to cre create an adequately usable hot spot. So I would like to, for this experiment, err on the side of what you were saying and have a smaller number of holes in a much smaller area. Yeah. And make sure that our coals end up right over top of them where we want them. That little bit of coals. And yeah. that's, that's going to be, that I think makes a huge difference for how fast it fires up. Yeah, because we have, there's way less mass to, hi, to, to hire up. All we're immediately using the heat from the coals. We're not trying to utilize the gases. Yep. So, um, yeah, modify our fire pot, keep this small. Now, the downside of that is we're relying on the natural draft of the insulated chimney. We're relying on the draft. We might go back to the smaller chimney, smaller, smaller diameter so chimney. So, having a small number of holes and having the charcoal piled right on top of them means that our chimney has a lot of pulling to do to get the oxygen that we need through the system. Yep. And I think we can do it. 